All right, we are live. Don't do anything you'd, you'd regret. No, just kidding. Okay, we're going to get started. Um, a couple of things. Okay, there we go. So some nice rotations, just letting those arms swing. So I started reading the Dr. Maffetone PDF. Wait, what's his method? MAF? Yes, MAF is his method. Stands for Maximum Aerobic Fitness. So far, it's interesting. Let me know what you guys think. It's about 50 pages. It's, it's pretty short, actually. Some pictures and graphs. And we're looking ahead to next month. So we have today's class on Friday with the 4515 structure. And then next week, we're going to shift to 3015, getting the outside of the hip now, a little side bend. And it's a little premature to think about outdoor beasts, but but we're thinking about it. And the idea is we'd probably stick with 830 McCarran Park uh, Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, shifting weight side to side, but we'll see. We got time. Even on the nice days, like tomorrow, no, next week there's going to be a warm day, but at 8 a.m. it'll be 25 degrees, so. Today's a warm day. Today's going to be nice, get yeah. Get out there and enjoy some sunshine. Yeah, get your <laughs> vitamin D. All right, we are hinging at the hips, getting into those hamstrings, back flat or slightly arched. There's a good Z Health uh, video today about spinal flexion and rotation. So if you're having any low back issues, it's, you might want to check that out, zhealth.com. Excellent, guys. All right, we're going cross crawl, knee to opposite elbow. Any good vaccine news? There's right. Eva. Client in here is saying, we survived the second shot. <laughs> is that Alan? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I know a bunch of people now that got both shots. It's good. We're getting there. All right, gentle bounces, super light on your feet. Oh, my physical therapist did too. Yeah. Oh, but she got sick. Oh. There seems to be a correlation now of people very Alternating feet, guys, alternating More. feet, little jog. Oh, and a reminder that tomorrow evening at 6, we're doing a free punk rope class. It's a literary theme class. Songs about books, writing, reading. We're getting the heels up now. It's through Arapaho Libraries, so uh, if you need the link, let me know. And knees coming up now. Knees up to your waist. Good. And we're going to take those feet a little wider for fast feet. You're on hot coals for three, two, one, and recover. Good. All right. Guys, we're going to take it down to our back. Second warm up. And this one. 
is double leg stretch from Pilates. So we are fully stretched out, long legs, long arms. We're going to fold up, knees coming towards your chest. See if you can hug thighs, knees, something, and then open again. So it's close and open, a little bit like an accordion. Get those shoulder blades up as you reach with an exhale. And then when you open up, that's your opportunity to inhale. Okay, that's number one. Number two, from our belly, we have a back extension and it's the letter Y. So now your arms are going to reach forward, but at about a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to peel the ribs off the ground, keep the legs down, neck with spine, and you have a static hold. Okay, that is number two. Now three, it's been a long time. Some of you may be familiar with this. It's, it's wrestling season, so we wanted to get the sit out in. So here's how it works, guys. You're gonna be on hands and knees. And Shauna, should we stick with one side for one set and then do the other or? Or keep alternating. I think we'll okay. So we're gonna we're gonna alternate, guys. So so just bear with us for for a few seconds here. You're on hands and knees. You're gonna extend your right leg, okay, pretty straight. You're gonna slide your left leg between your right foot and your right hand. Sit through, okay. You're gonna pivot. So you're spinning back, uh, I'd say left, sorry, yeah, left hand is coming around. Full circle here, all the way up, and then back down. So all the way up to standing. Then on this next repetition, left leg, sh slow it down a little bit, left leg comes out, Left leg out, slide the right foot through, so you're almost like in a crab walk position. Keep coming around, spin, 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 up, 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 standing, boom, and there you go. All right, if it's you know a little awkward, don't worry about it. But I'm gonna give like a, a, a wrist option. <laughs> well, it's not really that much pressure on the wrist. It's no more than most of the conventional yeah, yeah, exercises. Yeah. But if you need to, you can have your hands down and then roll. <laughs> yes, you could, exactly. Or I should say butt down, roll on your butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could, you could put your butt down and roll, roll off your butt instead of on your wrists. <laughs> okay? All right. We'll try it. That's number three. Number four, plank crawl in a circle. All right. So now, back to plank. And we're going to take it clockwise. Maintaining that plank, so we're not going to hike the hips up, we're not going to let the low back collapse, and we'll take it all the way around, and if you get all the way around, just keep going that same direction. The second set will go counterclockwise. Okay, that's number four. Number five, Statue of Liberty Lunge. So the first set, we're going to have the right arm elevated. Uh, Shauna's got a dumbbell. I think it's five pounds or so. Um, we're going to keep that arm up, and then we're going to step forward. So it's a forward lunge. We'll start with whichever leg you want, and then alternating legs th throughout the set. But the right arm stays up. And the second time we do it, the left arm will stay up. Number six, this is called an eccentric push-up. So you've got a little more 
to think about this morning. Um, eccentric means the down phase. So your job is to lower yourself slowly, slower than normal, slow, slow, right? Um, but not let the uh, low back cave in, not hike the hips. And then the up phase is normal, or if you get stuck in the bottom, just collapse and, and come to the knees and scramble back up to the top. But our, our focus is this down phase, which should be quite slow. And laugh if it hurts your shoulder. Just do yeah, your if thing. it hurts your shoulder, do, do whatever does not. Number seven, it's a two-arm overhead squat. So both arms are up and uh, feet are either hip width or wider and then we're going to drop the hips back and you're going to feel this in the mid to upper back as a as a stretch um, you may not get as deep as you normally would that's okay the goal is fairly straight arms okay that's number seven and then we're going to wrap it up with a tough plank it's a plank with an arm raise so we'll give you a couple of options. <laughs> this is tough on the core and upper body today. Um, so the most challenging version would be bring that arm up and have it parallel to the ground, fully extended. If that's not working for you, of course, yeah, you're going to alternate sides. You could bend the elbow, right? Lift the arm, bend the elbow. And you could even you could even really jam that elbow into your ribs, um, and if that's not working, you could just try to lift the hand, just try to lift it for a split second. So you got a bunch of options here. Okay, you could also do that from the forearms if your wrists are bothering you. So there's our eight, and we're going to start from our back. Double leg stretch to kick it off. So that's your Folding in half if, if you joined us a little late. Exhale with your lift. Going in three, two, one, and go. So this is the one where we're working from both directions. Shoulder blades are coming up. Hands are reaching forward. Simultaneously, knees are bending. Hips are flexing. So the knees are coming towards your head as your hands are reaching towards your feet. You got 15 seconds. You're trying to sync up those two movements so they happen at roughly the same time. And you got three, two, one, and recover. All right. So going to flip over to our belly, back extension the letter Y, so the arms are coming out at about 45 degrees, three, two, one, and go. So we peel the ribs off the ground, neck stays with spine, and if, if this is too intense you can bend the elbows. Keeping the legs down, breathing's relaxed. If you need to take a break, you take a break. 20 seconds to go. Awesome, guys. Down to 10. And we got three, two, one. And recover. All right. So we're flipping over onto our back. Second set. Double leg stretch. In three, two, one, and go. I have to confess the names of these Pilates moves could be improved. I don't even know what a double leg stretch <laughs> means. It's kind of stupid but it's what we're stuck with for now. So folding in half. Should have just called it the accordion, I think. 
Exhale with your lift. 15 seconds. You're almost there. Three, two, one. And recover. And we're flipping over to our belly. Set your feet, arms overhead. Extended about 45 degrees. Three, two, one, and go. Now the sit out is next, so you have to mentally prepare yourself for that. <laughs> 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Nice and relaxed. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, so now we're on hands and knees, and we're going to alternate sides. You're going to start with the right leg extending. And then swinging the left through, pivoting around in a circle. And then we'll do the other side in three, two, one, and go. Let's see if we've got a wrestling team here. So keep coming around that same direction. I thought we were alternating. <laughs> yeah, but keep coming around instead of, I noticed some people backing off. There you go. So leg comes out, that leg comes through, spin, spin all the way around and up. Then you're back down. Leg comes through, spin, good. That's it. Okay, now you can also do this spinning on your butt. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And recover. Good, guys. And as Shauna said, if that's not happening, just get up, get down. That's All right. Pretty Plank intense. crawl in a circle. Single leg, single arm, that's what So we're in plank, and we're going to take it clockwise in three, two, <laughs> one, and go. Hands. And then opposite foot. Always working in opposition with your crawls. So that's contralateral. Going clockwise. Fifteen seconds. See if you can make one complete circle. That might be a lot. Three, two, one, and recover. Awesome, guys. Good. So second set of your sit-out. Hands and knees to start. The right leg will be the, the initiation leg, or whatever you want to call it. In three, two, one, and go. That right leg extends. We slide the left through, and we pivot and stand. Back down to all fours. Left leg, right slides through, spin and up, good. Keep going at your pace. I know you can get a little dizzy doing this. But the advantage is it's these level changes in the coordination. You're using legs, you're using upper body, using core strength, 10 seconds quickness. Mobility, you got everything going on. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, now we're back down for plank, crawl in a circle, uh, counterclockwise. In three, two, one, and go. So we're taking it the other direction.
and take your time with this. The main thing is just keep the core engaged. Try not to let the low back cave in and try not to let the head drop. Good guys, keep that tension. 10 seconds, strong arms, strong abs. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, so we're moving on. Next interval. Statue of Liberty lunge. The right arm's gonna be up. Optional extra resistance. Forward lunge with the right arm up. In three, two, one, and go. So having one arm up is gonna challenge your balance. And even if you have nothing in that hand, you're loading your shoulder. It's an asymmetrical position. So that can be a little tricky. That's it, Rachel. Nice, Scott. Good, Julie. Go, Eva. That's it, Becca. Good, Kyle. Three, two, one, and recover. All right. And guys, we're down for the eccentric push-up. So really, all you need to know is focus on the down phase, slow. Three, two, one, and go. So it's as if gravity has changed all of a sudden. And you're going to go three or four times as slow as you normally would. Then if you have the strength to push yourself back up, great. If, if not, just collapse all the way down, come to the knees, and then push up from there, and then restart. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, good. And now we're back up. Statue of Liberty lunge. The left arm is up this time. Three, two, one, and go. Focusing on that front knee, not letting it cave in. Back knee approaches the ground. The elevated arm is straight. Try to avoid bending the elbow. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, excellent, guys. And the last set of this interval will be your eccentric push-up. So we're back down into plank. Slowly lower yourself in three, two, one, and go. Really take your time. Think about what has to work here. It's going to be your triceps. Shoulders, chest, core, neck is working. Legs a little bit, not too much. Keep breathing, you got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and recover. All right. Moving on to the final interval. Both arms are up now for our overhead squat. You could hold uh, some light dumbbells if you like. And you have three, two, one, and go. So take your time. Bring in those hips back. 
There's often a tendency to flex forward at the waist. See if you can achieve some balance between the hips going back and the trunk coming forward. The arms staying straight, the knees staying aligned with the feet. No rounding in the back. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, good guys. And we're down for that plank with the arm raise. So however that's gonna work for you, you go for it in three, two, one, and go. So remember, you have lots of options. You can bring that arm way out parallel to the ground and then try the other side. You can bring that arm up with a bent elbow. You can just try to lift the hand off the ground. Because remember, you don't want to rotate. Whatever you choose to do, the hips stay square. They face the ground. 15 seconds. So don't worry about it. Wherever you're at, you're at. It's good. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, now we're back up. Overhead squat, both arms up. Set your feet. Three, two, one, and go. Hips go back. So you're always initiating your squats with your hips. Very important concept. It's not the knees that go first. It's not the trunk that comes down. It's the hips go back. And then the rest follows. Okay, down to 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Good. And it's last first. Okay, so we're back down the plank, either from your palms or your forearms. We're going to try that arm lift in three, two, one, and go. So don't worry if you don't have the strength yet to bring that arm all the way up and parallel to the ground. It takes time. But there's lots of intermediate options. And if you just want to hold your regular plank, that's great too. 15 seconds. Then we'll take a short, short break. Three, two, one, and rest. Great, guys. Good job. Pretty tough workout. Short break, and I'm going to just revisit the sit-out with you during the break and just think about what you did. A lot of upper body work, a lot of core work, some tricky moves. I can't see, so Sean will have to tell me if I'm in frame. You're good. Okay, so here's what I saw with some of you. Boom, right? So that my right leg straight. Gonna lift my right hand, slide this through. Now I'm on my butt. I don't have to be. I could be up, but I'm here. And then some of you got up and then just turn right back. So what we want to do, boom, up. Yeah. And I can stay down. Although Either up or down. I'll, I'll say if you have a particularly 
tough wrist or shoulder issue, I could be on the other arm. This part would probably be pretty difficult. And so once you get both arms down, then to bring it down here, then you can rotate here. Yeah. You could put both arms down and come up like a bird here. Or yeah, so <laughs> if you keep... I'd say, you know, do it's not hurt, you know. Exactly. Don't hurt yourselves. Because it's a, it's a pretty significant spin on that standing arm and that, that part you indicated. <laughs> All right. Round two. Which doing from... <laughs> from our back double leg stretch is in three two one and go exhale with your lift think ribs to hips and hips to ribs. So we're closing down that space. 20 seconds, working both directions. 15 to go. Final 10. That's it, guys. Really folding up. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, we're going to flip over. We're on our belly. Back extension, letter Y. Arms coming overhead, but out at about 45 degrees. Three, two, one, and go. Breathing is relaxed. Neck is aligned with your spine. If you want to close your eyes here, you certainly can. Legs are staying down. 20 seconds left. Here's the final 10. And we got three, two, one, and recover. And we're gonna flip over for the final time. We've got double leg stretch. So we're on our back, arms long, legs long. Three, two, one, and go. So the main thing is getting those shoulder blades off the ground. It's fine to reach, but the reach alone won't do that much. Get the shoulder blades up, and then you're going to activate all those abdominal muscles. And then the legs coming toward you. Nice big hug. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, recover, and that's one down. And we're going to flip over. <laughs> we're on our belly, arms extended 45 degrees. Three, two, one, and go. Back extension, letter Y, final time. <clears throat> Twenty seconds left. Down to ten. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, guys, we are on hands and knees. And now we got that sit out. Let's see what we can do with it. Starting with the right leg kicking out. Three, two, one, and go. Boom, boom, slide through. And like Shauna said, you can just spin 
on your butt without having to really put pressure on those wrists. In some ways, that's even preferable. Unless you did it in cartwheels, then. <laughs> 20 seconds. And you're used to it. <laughs> Good. Any of these moves that involve major level changes can be very effective. Three, two, one. And recover. All right. Good going. And so we're down for plank crawl in a circle clockwise for the first set. In three, two, one, and go. Yeah, Sometimes absolutely. You can come down to your forearms. Please don't. You could even take it in a circle on your forearms, so that's going to be a little cool. uncomfortable on your <laughs> elbows. 15 seconds. Good guys. Three, two, one. And recover. And here's our final sit out. Hands and knees. Starting with that right leg. Three, two, one, and go. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. That's it, you guys. Nice job. Good, Scott. That's it, Eva. Awesome, Becca. Good, Kyle. That's it, Rachel. Good, Julie. 15 seconds. Good work, you guys. Stay with it. Three, two, one. And recover. All right, that's three down. And now we have final plank crawl in a circle going counterclockwise. So palms and balls of feet or forearms. Three, two, one, and go. Taking it around. So plank crawls in a circle are interesting. How far do you move your hand? How far do you move your foot? Is it consistent? Is it the same when you're going clockwise or counterclockwise? It's not really right or wrong answer, just stuff to be aware of. Down to 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, that is four down. We're moving on to the Statue of Liberty lunge with the right arm up the entire set. Optional extra resistance. In three, two, one, and go. Excellent, guys. Nice big step forward. So as soon as that front foot makes contact, that's when we want those knees to bend. And the hips are going to flex. So are the ankles. Especially the, the back ankle. Great. Finding your balance. Three, two, one. And recover. And down we go for our eccentric push-up. So we're going to start from plank. Lower ourselves 
Slowly in three, two, one, and go. Try to lower yourself as one piece. So as the elbows bend, your upper body approaches the ground slowly. So do your hips. But you don't want one part of you to get ahead of the rest. So usually it'll be the head that drops and that goes first, or the hips drop. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Excellent, good work. Statue of Liberty lunge, left arm up. Set your feet, three, two, one, and go. So I don't know if you can see, Shauna's using a band attached to the wall. She's grasping that with her elevated hand. And it's pulling her sideways towards the wall. 15 seconds to go. Lots of different ways to set up your resistance. Three, two, one. Recover. That's five down. And here's the final set of eccentric push-ups. Down we go to plank. Three, two, one, and go. Last time for these. Still keeping it slow. Good guys. That's it. Fifteen seconds left. Stay with it. Stay with it. Almost there. Three, two, one. And recover, and that's done, and that's six down, two left, three minutes of work to go. Overhead squat is next. We'll set our feet, arms are up. Three, two, one, and go. The hips drop back. Those arms stay up, and they stay straight. Yeah. Neck stays with spine, back stays flat, knees stay to the outside, the heels stay down. You find your pace and your depth. Down to 20 seconds. And here's the final 10. Three, two, one, recover. All right, and we're gonna come down to plank for the plank with the arm raise. In three, two, one, and go. So again, either from the palms or from the forearms, but whichever you choose, you're trying to keep your hips level. That's it. There you go. Yeah, if you have a mirror, that can help. Lots of options here. Straight arm, bent arm, just barely taking the hand off the ground. 15 seconds or hold your, just hold your plank. It's all about progression. Three, two, one, and recover. Guys, we got 90 seconds left. So final set of your overhead squat. Next to less, 
Next to last set of the workout, set your feet, arms are up. We got three, two, one, and go. Hips drop back, take your time. And don't worry if you don't go as deep as you normally do with your squat. Arms up is gonna change it. Knees stay to the outside. 20 seconds left. You're almost there, and then just one set to go. Final 10. Three, two, one, recover. Good, all right. This is last, last, you guys. Final set, plank with an arm lift to wrap it all up. Going in, three, two, one, and go. Last, last, see what you got left. Try to keep your form, breathing's relaxed. If you can lift that arm, good. Wherever is fine. Try to keep those hips level. Keep that neck aligned with your spine. You're down to 15 seconds. Stay with it, guys. You got this now. Here's the last 10. Home stretch. Three, two, one, done. Done, good. Great work, everybody. Really good job. That was a tough one, I thought. You guys did great. Um, sorry we ran a little bit longer than usual because of the silly sit out. But we're gonna jump into our cool down with our chest after we towel off and shake out. And if you want a sip of water, that's great. Okay, so um, if you're by a wall, that's great. Put, put your hand on the wall and turn away. If you have a band like Shauna does, you can grasp the band with your hand, walk out, and then turn a little bit, or just position your body so that the band is essentially creating the stretch for you. It's basically a passive stretch. Three, two, one, and we're gonna switch, turn it around, other, other side. So if you have some free time, I encourage you to read a little bit of that uh, Mafatone manual, the PDF that I sent out. Might give you a whole new perspective on cardio. Three, two, one, and release. Okay. And we're gonna go hip flexor quad combo, starting with the hip flexor, kneeling, flattening the back, lifting the arm on the same side as the trail leg, stretching the front of the hip. I'd say they're having a little trouble lifting their arm after that workout. <laughs> you could just <laughs> yeah, if that, just if that arm is tired, you can just just leave it down. And we have three, two, one, and then we're gonna stand up, grab the ankle on that trail leg to get the quad. We have three, two, one, and release. And then we're going to go hip flexor on the other side. 
So just a little spoiler alert with the Maffetone stuff. His basic premise is that most of us train at too high an intensity when it comes to cardio. So there'd be running, cycling, swimming, etc. And so he advocates aiming for a heart rate that is roughly 180 minus your age. And then there's all kinds of different adjustments to that formula. So like for me, it would be uh, 120, which would be much lower than where I would normally train at. And you keep training there and we're going to get that quad now. Um, keep training in that zone and keep retesting how much you can achieve, for example, running at that target heart rate. Do you get more efficient? Yes, you can run fast at the same level of exertion. Yeah, exactly. Can you, can you cover more ground at that same level of exertion? His hypothesis is that, yes, you, you will be able to and you don't overtrain. And we got three, two, one, and we're gonna release that, and we'll just get the hamstrings today, and then I uh, think we'll call it a day. Maybe we'll do a, a yeah, maybe we'll do thread the needle. Okay, okay, hamstring, leg up, other leg down, leg that's down straight or knee bent, but the cool thing with some of these theories is you, you can test them, right? They're, they're quantifiable, they're measurable, so if you stick with it, and you have to be honest though, you know. Three, two, one, and switch. You really have to follow the protocol if you're going to test it and, and if there's going to be any validity to your test. Interesting point about him is he really was the first person to use a heart rate monitor. And what he used was like had people were in his like a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, we got three, two, one, and release. And we'll just do a quick thread the needle from hands and knees um, to reinforce that overhead squat. So we're gonna slide the right hand between the left knee and the left hand and then dip that shoulder down. And we got three, two, one, and then we're going to reverse course and slide that left hand between the right knee and the right hand and, and dip the left shoulder down. And we've got three, two, one. And done. Excellent. You made it. Survived. Some tough moves today, but you did great. So last class of the month, Friday. I hope we get to see you. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to go beast on three. We got one, a two, three. Beast. Beast. Good work, everybody. Have a beautiful day. It looks like a nice day out. Enjoy it. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.